What's up Knife Fam? It's your boy JT and today we're coming with an amazing value. I picked this up at Walmart probably just a couple weeks ago. I saw it on the shelf as usual with all these random Camilas offerings. I saw this at one Walmart out of like 10 that are in my 300 mile radius of the town that I live in. Your mileage might vary. You might have 200 million of these at your local Walmart. I always have to scavenge and scrounge for these things. Nonetheless, Camilas Titanium Inject Multi-Tool. Let's get into it. Yeah. Alright guys, so as per what we have advertised on the box, we have your fixed blade knife, we have nylon molded sheath, we have a glass filled nylon handle, 4.25 inch blade, 420 stainless, it's nice to see a little bit of the American steels making it back into the spotlight. And we got two separate tools that I'm assuming fit into the handle and can be released by this switch here. But we're going to open this package and see what we got. Let's get into it. All right, guys, as with all Camellius modern post 2015 era knives of all types, they have this titanium bonded technology where I guess there's some kind of titanium mixture plated onto the exterior of the blade or even within the steel. I still haven't gotten a response from their team as to how specific this is. They're probably keeping it hush hush for many reasons. It could also be some kind of proprietary patent or whatever it is. Instructions here wedged into the belt loop. And then you got your two tools. Now the cool thing I can immediately see is that on the handle, you can see an embossing that kind of gives you the key as to which one of these goes where. Looks like they click in nice and it doesn't feel like they're gonna come out. And just like I thought by the outside of the package, you click this switch and it releases them from their nylon prison. And then on the other side, you have your matching tool for this side. Same deal here. Now the tools are pretty cool. You got a hex nut breakers, three different sizes here. I'm assuming it's the three most common sizes. And then you have two more on this handle. Can slash bottle opener here. Not sure what this wedging tool is. Maybe you guys can help me with that, but you do have a nice flat driver here. Also can act as a pry mechanism. I don't know how much you might be able to depend on this steel from not breaking. I would consider small prying tasks such as prying open electronics and whatnot. And then here, a cord cutter with an additional size, a bottle opener here. But all in all, it's cool to have extra tools. You don't know how important extra tools are until you need them, and that is the truth. I carry a knife on me daily, and every once in a while, I need a flathead, or I need a Phillips, or I need some kind of a hex or Torx, or even break some small nut off, and I don't have the tools on me. So it's always nice to have a substitute for a multi-tool, which can be heavy and bulky in the form of a knife. Very cool blade design. I really like the sweeping spine here. Then the counter curve towards the tip, faux double ledge here, and a nice recurve belly. This is reminiscent of a Schrad Frontier knife that I've covered on this channel before. I like that a lot. That's really, really cool. Grip feels good in my L to XL hands. No problems there. Has some jimping here before you get to the blade. Feels really comfortable overall. There is a slight jiggle that you can hear these little tools inside the blade, but it's not significant enough to worry about it. I do like the fact that it has one switch per tool. So if I didn't cover that earlier, I wanted to get that out of the way before we move on to the rest of the knife. Nylon sheath, amazing. Now something that I just realized now, and the package probably says it, no, actually, the, yeah, it actually does. It says sharpener right here and a quick cut slot. Cool little life hack that they put on these packages. You'd be surprised when you need them. So you got a knife sharpener here. The good thing about this is you can use it any place, anytime. If you're in the woods, if you're in the kitchen, and you need a quick edge. You won't have a razor edge, but you can put a quick edge on here and the knife will actually be functional at the very least. The knife fits into the sheath very smooth. It doesn't snap in because this is not a snap in sheath. There is a retention strap here. Kind of like a hybrid sheath, I guess you can call it. It has a hard section, but then the retention is done through a strap rather than a snap retention here. Overall, guys, I gotta say, it looks like a decent value. This was $20 for the entire set. It's a good combination of good steel, good plastic, what appears to be good hardware, some extra little tools just to fill that void when you feel like you need some tools and you don't have a toolbox or your truck near you and you don't wanna make a hike just to get some tools. This will probably get you out of a jam and it's actually a nice little size as well they're advertising this is a 4.25 inch blade a total of yeah just right around the eight and three quarter inch so decent size 
Let me check what the weight is. And the knife is coming in right at 6.4 ounces. So really, really nice for a fixed blade. It's not feather light, but it's well under my maximum limit acceptance of one pound for everyday carry. All in all guys, I'm really pleased for it, but I wanna know what you guys think in the comments. I wanna know if you've been to any Walmarts that actually have these on display. I wanna know if you pick one of these up, if you've used it on the field, what are your impressions with this? It's always a pleasure to bring you this content, but if it wasn't for you guys, we wouldn't be here. Thank you for the views, the likes, the subscriptions, but especially the comments because they help us interact with each other in this fantastic community. Once again, I appreciate you guys watching and I'll catch you on the next one.